Hey guys, Infinity here, and welcome to a new video, and sorry I'm talking quiet. Um, okay, so I just thought that I would make a tutorial on how to use, um, whatchamacallit, uh, how to draw on Microsoft Paint your Animal Jam animal. So let's just do the basic stuff. Um, okay. So right here is, like, where you get your little paint brushes and stuff. That's how I have this kind of lagging out. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so, and then you have a little pencil, and then you can do, you can fill things with the paint bucket, obviously. And you can type, like, like, um, Yeah. Um. Hang on. Okay. Did that. Uh. Yeah. Let's just not do text. Okay. Oh. Okay. Sorry about that. So, um. What I'm going to be doing is, uh, if and then there's these little shapes. I think what you should do is, if you want to draw the head of something. I'm going to be showing you how to draw a wolf bunny. This pr pretty much goes for any animal shape animals that have a normal, like, circle shaped head. Like, y yeah, you can do that. And this is a select tool. You can do all kinds of stuff. You know? Oh, whoa, no. I didn't want to do that. Those are the back buttons. Um, yeah, I'm just going to move that a little bit down. So what I like to do is I get this curve tool and then this is how I make like the snout on my animals I'm gonna go to the right um I start like about this area and then that comes down and then let go and you can take the mouse and curve it and then you can you know change that and then yeah and then for like the nose I take it from there to there and then there. Uh huh. And this is the eraser. And by the way, by the way, if you have a numpad, press CTRL, then uh, the n the plus button to make it bigger. And then if you want to make it smaller, just press the CTRL, which we called it, um, minus button. So I'm gonna now. I'm going to show you how to layer things. This computer is so laggy, I seriously want a Mac. I like, yeah. Okay. Cut. Cut. Okay. I said, thank you very much. Okay, so what I'm going to be using, I wouldn't recommend using black. Like in a normal color. And it only works for the pencil, you know? So, I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Okay, where is it? See? Okay. So what you want to do, I don't really use this that much except for like touch-ups because I usually use the curve line. So if you want to make like a little circle, yeah, that's a horrible example. So then you do that. And then you take the col the black or whatever color you want to go over it with and then do that. So then you have this just as like, yeah. And if you, uh, And since these are like the guidelines in the back, that's why it's called layering you want to get rid of those, right? So what you want to do is you want to get the eraser open and then you want to change the first color to the color the this color the color that you used as your layer and then you want the background color to be like that so then you right click and then you just move the eraser around and erase all the lines while the uh, other full, uh, final lines aren't affected by this if you right click so yeah, but we're going to delete all of this anyway because it's stupid. But I don't really use the layering that much because I don't really, like I said, use the pencil option. So usually everything I have is just there out for me. 
So, like I said, take. You know, I'm gonna pause the video and do this because I already showed you how to do this. So yeah. Okay. So I have that done. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to erase this little line right. Okay. You know what? No. No, this isn't gonna work out that well. So what I like to do is I'd like to use the layering effect to help me with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just where the the line that we want to get rid of connects with the line that the lines that we want to keep. I then I, I then zoom back out. And then I do the layering thing, you know, right click. Oh wait, no. No no no. Then you take the um paint bucket oh no 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 I hate when I do that okay so then you take uh, why do I always press that yeah okay so you know what I suck at making tutorials no I'm gonna pause the video until I get this right Okay, so now what you're you're going to want to do is you're going to ta I recommend zooming in just once. Take it and co <sighs> and color those lines the color that you want to that you like cut the the others off from the rest of the lines. Of, you know what you know what I'm saying. So then you take then you do the layering, get rid of those lines and we're all happy. So then what I do is I zoom back out and now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to do the ears why don't I just make this oh. I hate everything okay so now what I want to do is I think I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller by adjusting it yeah and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the curve line I'm going to start at about right here and then no I don't want that and then I'm going to drag that and then make it cover and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them black I'm probably not going to be showing you how to color it in this video Maybe I'll make a part two to this, like right after. My internet worked, this wouldn't be a problem. I wouldn't have to upload it from right from Screencast-O-Matic. Idiots. Yeah, so then what I do is I go here, and then I make the little line thingy. And this is kind of where, like, the, um, what you called it, the eyes come into play. So it doesn't really matter that much because you're gonna shrink it. You're not gonna have to see all the ugly lines and the little mistakes. So that's good. Now I'm gonna show you how to draw one eyelash if you're doing a girl, like so. Now I'm gonna pause the video and do the rest. So I did that. Now I'm going to take it and color them. And now, but you could use the pencil for this. I just think curver line is easier. And then do that but I might want to connect it down here then color in so yeah then you're gonna zoom back out now what you're going to do is you're going to select it with the I recommend using the free form but you can do whatever you want and then you if you, it's facing that way like mine is you take it and then you rotate it flip horizontally and now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make it smaller and I just screwed that up okay okay rotate horizontally okay you know what you get the idea and then yeah nose and uh, this is just for the head and then yeah what you're going to want to do if you want to color it 
is you pick your color and then you take this and you basically just color it in and this is uh, don't mind that this is where these um come into play you could hang on let me change the color like your green and then you could press fill and then you could fill it with the background color so like the color too so if i want like green stars i can do that and then i recommend using pink for the ears don't mind that that's a little bit disconnected yeah so then you do that so anyway um you can color everything in and you can do all that trees and you can do the bottom half and look out for an advanced version of this because this is just the basics and i didn't get into any of the advanced stuff because i'm kind of in a rush right now and i only have 15 minutes to record a video so look out for advanced part two and look out for my new icon isn't it beautiful? I was able to change it even though I can't access the internet. I went into, I got the Google Plus app on my iPhone. And then I pressed edit profile picture. And then we all know when you edit it on Google Plus, it automatically adds it, edits it on your YouTube channel. So I put, I edited it on the Google Plus app, then I opened the, and then I opened YouTube. <clears throat> and then I, uh, changed and then it was all changed and stuff. It was made by Blaze Numbers 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 underscore AJ on Instagram. I, um, yeah, so she's really good. Check out my Instagram, animal underscore jam underscore artist. So, yeah. And I'm sorry, I haven't been making those Jamal Day gift, um, the Jamal Day gift calendar videos lately. I just kind of started slacking off on that. But I will be making one tomorrow. So, yeah, um, I have almost 20 subscribers, so that will be good, and, so, yeah, and I will be uploading a speed drawing of me drawing a cat, so, look out for that too, and I have a bunch of new ways that we can get through me not having in access to the interwebs on my computer, and this being my only computer that I have that I can record from. So, I have a lot of loopholes that I can get through on how to keep this channel alive. So, and we're going to get this prop my computer probably fixed. It's not like a laptop, so we have to it's a whole process of taking it in cuz it's a giant PC desktop. It's like I don't even know. It's like 20 inch across and then like up and bottom it's like 12 inch. It's it's really huge. Anyway, and so yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. As always, if you want to see more videos in the future, subscribe. So, goodbye. And goodbye.